guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is another pin mail video or a haul of pins um as always there are fantasy and authentic there is disney and harry potter so let's just jump straight in let's start with authentic so the first pin now makes me one pin away from being a bear in the big blue house um completist so I managed to get this pin and this is the Playhouse Disney live on stage and as you can see it comes on I, what I think is its original backer card and this is probably my favourite Bear in the Big Blue House pin because it's got all of the characters. I remember you know watching this at um, back when it was MGM and I used to love watching this program when I was a child so the only one I am looking for now is the Playhouse Disney uh, pin that just has bear on it and then I will be a completist so I was pleased to have found that one then I believe I traded for this one so this was one of the Mother's Day releases uh, from the Disney Studio store in Hollywood and uh, this is the Duchess and Berlioz one so this is what it looks like and I just think it's super cute. Uh, you've got Berlioz there and these flowers are sort of pin on pin. And it was all sort of about um, the, the children, the offspring looking up at their mothers. Um, so obviously I had to get the Aristocats one. Will I keep this forever? I'm not sure but I think it is just a really interesting, unique pin. Um, it's like a pose you don't see very often and just the way it's the style of it is just very different and unique so i got that one we then have a artland pin so i don't get artland pins very often um although i think they're great especially if you're in the uk to acquire some more limited edition pins um that would make good traders so they released a series of castle pins and i believe this was like in the second wave of them i think this is ellie 250 and this is the bell one with her castle um, so it's like a pin on pin element this is all sort of raised up and it's got uh, the castle you've got all the roses sort of at the front there and she's holding her book I collect um, Belle in her blue dress and Belle reading so this is a perfect fit they did a Ellie 150 beast but I think that one sold out but um, yeah I was pleased to get this I don't know if they number these um, sometimes they used to number the cards yeah, so this is 142 out of 250. Uh, that is what it looks like on the back. And I think I had some like rewards or something to use up. So um, yeah, that made it a little bit cheaper. So the next pin, this is very, very exciting because it now means that I am a carousel of progress completist, which is amazing to think um i am a completist in the sense of i have all the pins made um there are you know ap and pp versions of things but unless it's something for a really good price that i stumble across it's not going to be something that i strive to collect to have you know, because you know on the face of things they all look you know the same um you can't see the back stamp when you're looking at it anyway so um but yeah so i managed to find this one i think it was on ebay and as soon as it popped up i snatched it up um i think about a month before i got this one when we were on the isle of wight i was bidding for one of these and it went up to like over 150 dollars and needless to say i was way out of that and then this one came along and i think it was only like 30 dollars in comparison so yeah really really good this is an annual pass holder pin it's the Disneyland Heritage Pin Collection from 2010. Um, there is a series of these um, of different attractions. Um, I think there's a Jungle Cruise. I think there might be a Peter Pan. Obviously, I had to get the Carousel of Progress one. So let's open it up. So amazing to have it still in the plastic and the card. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's sort of like a silver and then you've got the picture of Walt and in the background you can see uh, the scene from Carousel of Progress. Let's take it off and see if there's anything on the back. So it just says Pass Holder Exclusive Limited Edition Disneyland 55th Anniversary. Uh, it doesn't say what size Ellie it is but these are pretty hard to come by. 
um, hence why it was the last pin that I needed for my collection. I'm going to save my favourite uh, for the last end of this section, um, but I got um, some pins come through from um, Streaming the Magic. They do live sales 10 o'clock UK time every Saturday on Streaming the Magic, Molly and Joe. They have some great live sales. Um, I haven't purchased from a while for them, but um, I sort of just paid for them to send these to me um and yeah they're really good at holding pins so you can make the most out of your postage so primarily these are Stella Lou pins because they had a lot of Hong Kong they're really good at sort of like buying mystery boxes and you know a set and then splitting the characters up and considering I only collect Stella Lou out of the Duffy and Friends it's a good way for me to get them um so let me show you the ones that aren't Stella first we have this one to go on my sort of retro Disney board and this is a the Cheetah Girls pin now I want to say this is the third movie uh, when they go to India it's kind of got that Indian feel to it let's see if there's anything on the back just says it's from 2008 so this is back with the sort of just older plain background and this is in super good condition you know the photos not discolored or anything which can sometimes happen with those uh, styles um, but yeah really really good and then the other one I have here is a hidden mickey pin so this i think came out last year this series um and uh again buying from a reputable live sale is a good way to get hidden mickeys and know that they're authentic so this is the balloon castle so i collect i loosely collect anyway castle pins so this will be going with it i would like to get the firework one that's the completer but uh, that is a really hard fine and be expensive to buy it's like $40 so yeah hopefully I can you know stumble across that one day in the parks maybe um, but I got that one and so then the rest are Stella Lou so we have this one so she's like playing volleyball or something this I think is from it's like a garden harvest collection um, I'm trying to complete this whole box set I think I need I think there's a Shelly May with Duffy and then I need the Gelatoni one to complete my collection and I'm also looking for another Stella Lou because I think I'm going to have like a snack board with these on and then I want just another Stella to go on my Stella Lou board um, and then we have this one which is it was a one release this year, uh, sort of like a spring easel, and it actually um, it does stand up, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the easel back there, um, but yeah, super pretty and glittery. And then you have this one, which is just her like peeking over a teacup, and that's like really 3D, which is cool. And then finally, we have this one, which is her holding a balloon which is very sweet. So I've got those as well to add to my Stella Lou collection. So then the last authentic pin I have to show you is a grail. So um, in last month series, I think I showed you the uh, shop or the Disney auctions Fab Five Space Astronaut pin set. I had got uh, the Minnie Mouse as an astronaut on the moon and I saw this one in a live sale and I was like, that is probably the cutest one out of you know the series um so these are le150 they're super super hard to come by and this is the pluto one as an astronaut he's got a bone in his helmet and he's like sniffing around there's a comet in the background i love anything to do with space and this is just like one of the ultimate grails for me so i'm super super pleased to have that was a little bit pricey um but like i said they don't come around very often and it is only le uh 150 or no only le 100 actually so really really cool that i got that one so before i jump into other disney let's move on to sort of universal and harry potter so i got another one of these uh lucy tribute pins um so the lucy tribute was at um the park in Orlando and it is it was where the Hello Kitty shop is now it was a shop and like a museum bit I loved it I managed to go maybe three or four years in a row before they shut it down which was super sad because I love it and I love still to stay meeting Lucille in um 
in the park um but they obviously released some pins again super hard to come across them uh, but i got this one so this is another in that tv set so this one has her stomping the grapes in Italy. I'm not quite sure how many is in this sort of collection. I know there's an alien one because I very nearly got that one. Um, but the, the seller on eBay couldn't find it. So um, I'm pleased to add that to my collection. So not too much Harry Potter this time. I managed to get my Mad Unicorn Patreon wand. I think it might be the last one that I'm getting. I'm not sure. It was the, um, I think it was the Arthur Weasley one. I'm not sure if I paid up to the Mad Eye Moody or not. But anyway, um, the Arthur one came with this uh, Quidditch bean. And so I thought that I might keep that because it's pretty cool. It's like a light blue glitter and you've got the gold post and some stars. So... Yeah, I might keep that, I might sell it, I'm not quite sure yet, a little bit on the fence, but um, it's a cute little bean. So these are by a shop called Once Upon a Pins, and I managed to get two of these in a pre-sale. Uh, I do think both of these are sold out. This is the one that sort of drew me to the pre-sale, and it is this Tonks uh, chocolate frog card. I just think I love the way that she's depicted in this. She's like really soft and very pretty. I like the the pastel purple hair and these are really cool you can see that sort of stained glass element to them so really really pretty there's some glitter behind her there's glitter in the frame and in the um, stained glass as well I don't know if yeah you can kind of see it there so so pretty I'm not sure what the LE is of these but really cute and then the other one i also got was the hermione granger one and again same sort of concept with the glitter and the stained glass and again i just liked the way that she looked in this it was very much like hermione in the movie um so yeah i got those two and then the other pin i got which will transition us into disney was this one to also go on my retro TV board. It's been one that I've been looking at for a while. It's an Ellie 14, Ellie 40 pin. Um, and I, she may have one possibly left of this, I'm not sure. But this is her Lizzie McGuire pin. So I have uh, two or three others of the cartoon Lizzie, but this is by far like the biggest and probably most impressive. Even the back stamp has like the typical Lizzie flowers on it really really cool it's gonna be such a fun um pin to add to my board so yeah that's one of my favorites i then have these three these are by fantasies and cricket song who i believe is in france um and she does a series of um princess um not just princesses but primarily princess dresses um who's the ones i have the ones i got i've got a bell one I really want to get the Belle in blue dress um, but um, she was selling the Mary Poppins one so these came through last month if I can get them out of the packet so I bought all three and these are reasonably priced as well they're only like sort of 10 euros so this is the first one so this is sort of more Mary Poppins in her nanny costume you've got um, Big Ben in the background and the chimney tops. There's the kite and her scarf. And then you've even got the Admiral's ship there. Just really, really pretty. Such a unique concept and just the way that they're done. And then the other one was the sort of jolly holiday dress. So it's just covered with loads of butterflies. And there's some glitter sort of in her dress. If it'll pick it up. And then you've got like some penguins here. So they're going to look really cool together and then to complete the set she did a um, sort of accessories I guess you could say. So you've got her tape measure, her umbrella and her carpet bag. So they just all go really really nicely together and I'm a big fan of her work. I got one pin from uh, Laser Brain Patch Co. This is the Mickey Mouse um, swirled pin I guess in front of the castle I'm not quite sure which castle it depicts or if it's just sort of combination um but this is like on a rose gold backing um and just super pretty sort of grayscale 
a look to it so again that will go on my castle board i then have uh, my june patreon for maxine art but that's gonna be really hard to put on a pin board so i'm just gonna email her um but then i also got the um the when you like first signed up she did a little uh, purple seahorse it's like a little free gift I have this pin um from i can't remember but i got it on instagram this is the jackets series i have the pocahontas one i would like to get the the uh not the bell because this is obviously bell the aerial one uh there is multiple variations of these but obviously i went for the blue and white as that is you know how i collect her is in her blue dress and then finally i have some food pins and i've decided i think i'm going to be doing sort of a food um snack board so i got these four um if i can try and remember who it is i will leave a little annotation but she brought these back which i was super pleased of because the one i really wanted was this little guy look at him he's a little churro with a little face and a little hat churros are my favorite snack at disney so i knew i had to get that one then i got the doll whip because that is another one of my favorite treats i then got the rice crispy which was a lot bigger than actually i thought it would be and then finally just because it was cute i got the little uh, cotton candy with a little mini hat as well so i think there's a couple others in that series um but those are just the ones that i got so yeah i like to think this was a bit of a shorter video i hope you enjoyed it and as always make sure you subscribe and then you won't miss any of these pin videos and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss them and yeah i will see you very soon bye guys